All right, for the Avada drone, if you crash it or lose it in the bushes or lose it somewhere, you've got three ways to find it. Uh, one way is to do the Fly app and uh, call up where is my drone and you can get coordinates or follow the path, uh, see the path on where the f drone went down. Then you can go and get close to it and it's got give you the coordinates to it also. Another method is to use in the goggles, you can uh, set up the ECS uh, beep. So it beeps and uh, let's just go through that right here right now. Uh, I'll see if I can record it in the goggles for you. You go to, uh, you swipe uh, to, the, to the right, you go for settings, safety, and then go all the way down until you come to ESC, ESC, beeping, and that will make the drone beep, a pretty loud beep, and you can find it that way. There is another way, third way to find it is camera view loss, or camera view before loss anyways. It'll give you the last 30 seconds of the flight. You can press the button, or press the side menu, and it will show you the last 30 seconds of flight. Now I found on mine model here that what I can do is turn the knob here on the bottom for the eyepiece and I can actually select the amount of time that I want to go back. I can select one full minute, I can select two minutes, uh, I don't know how long it is, maybe up to even up to a half an hour. So let's give that a try here and see what happens. Now I found on mine model here that what I can do is turn the knob here on the bottom for the eyepiece and I can actually select the amount of time that I want to go back. I can select one full minute, I can select two minutes. and. Have you ever had deja vu? Uh, I could have sworn I've seen this before. I've been doing this before. I can tell you what's going to happen next, even. Huh. Okay, so let's go back into camera view before loss. Let's dial in uh, three minutes. Three minutes and then click once and you're watching the video. Get coordinates or follow the path, uh, see the path on where the f drone went down. Then you can go and get close to it and it's got give you the coordinates to it also. Another method is to use in the goggles, you can uh, set up the ECS uh, beep. So it beeps, and uh, let's just go through that right here, right now. Uh, I'll see if I can record it in the goggles for you. Well, like, deja vu. Not necessarily even deja vu. It takes me back in time. Like, holy smokes. Now, wow. Everything is set the same way. Like, oh, I can go back in time. I just set my goggles for whatever, however long I want to go back. Ah, I can make some money with this. I can go gambling. I can bet on games. I'm going to try an experiment, guys. I'm going to purchase something and then go back in time 
and see if I've still got that piece of equipment and buy it again. And wow, is that amazing? Let me try this. Okay, guys, I went out and purchased this thing for my camera. Uh, extension rings. Here's a bill for it. And let's now go back in time. And I bought this about uh, half an hour ago. Let's set the goggles up and go back a half, uh, three quarters of an hour and repurchase it and see what happens. I'm going back to, I'll go back to an hour. <laughs> I've got two of these. And a couple of bills. That's one set, and here's the other set. And I paid once because when I go back in time, I got my money back. <laughs> this is incredible, guys. Wow. This is incredible. Let's try to make some money. Let's go back. I don't know. Let's try. Let's try a couple of days. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's put the goggles on. And let's set up for the mode. Settings. And... Back in time, we'll dial in, we'll dial in 10 days. Let's see what happens. Here we go.